Welcome back to AAT Learning Hub. I'm Bhumika and today we are going to discuss about blood and components of blood. The circulatory system comprises of the heart, the blood vessels and blood. And blood is the actual transport medium that provides our body with oxygen and nutrients they need. So what is blood? Blood is a specialized body fluid made of connective tissue. Connective tissue, as the name implies, connects and supports various tissues and organs. There are four types of tissues in our body. Nervous tissue, epithelial, connective and muscular. So blood is a type of connective tissue. Other than blood, bones, cartilage and limbs are also made of connective tissues. So what are the components of blood? Let's take a blood sample, put it in the centrifuge mission and allow it to spin. The force with which it spins helps separates the components in blood according to the weight and size. So this is what we get after the centrifugal process. The denser components, which are the red blood cells, settle at the bottom of the tube. The middle thin layer is called the Buffy coat. And then plasma makes up to 55% of the sample blood. Now let's see what plasma is made up of. Plasma has about 92% water, 7% protein and less than 1% solids. There are three main proteins present in plasma. One is albumin. It is the most abundant protein in a plasma. I told you plasma of blood contains about 92% water. So how will fat soluble substances get transported? So this is where albumin comes into play. This is called transport protein because it helps transport lipid soluble substances like fats and certain hormones. Albumin also helps maintain osmotic pressure. Whenever water in the blood seeps into the interstitial spaces, albumin helps to pull the fluid back into the vessels, thereby maintaining osmotic pressure. Second is globulin that helps in immune function and clotting. Third is fibrinogen that gets activated to fibrin and is involved in clotting process. Next, the solids of plasma, like ions, sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride, nutrients like glucose, fatty acid, gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and metabolic waste like uric acid. So these are present in the plasma. Next, we'll move on to Buffy coat. The components in the Buffy coat are thrombocytes, otherwise called platelets, and leukocytes or the white blood cells. Platelets are fragments of cells that are produced in the bone marrow and they help in clotting. Any injury to blood vessel, platelets clump and form a plug and fibrin, which is a plasma protein, seals the plug and helps in clotting. This is called hemostasis. Platelet count in one microliter of blood ranges between 150 to 4 lakh cells. If this count increases, it's called thrombocytosis and if it decreases, it's called thrombocytopenia. The next component in Buffy coat is white blood cells or leukocytes. Leuco means white and cytes means cells, hence the name white blood cells. White blood cells are the vital component of our immune system, that is, they are our body's defense mechanism. And normally there are about 10,000 cells per microliter of blood. Any increase or decrease in the count indicates a disease process or infection. So WBCs are either granulocytes or agranulocytes. And as the name suggests, granulocytes contains granules, whereas agranulocytes lack any granules. What are the types of WBCs? Neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. Neutrophils make up around 65% of all WBCs. Lymphocytes are further divided into B cells, T cells, and natural killer cells. All these are involved in the defense mechanism. Of these five types of WBCs, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils fall under granulocytes while lymphocytes and monocytes fall under agranulocytes. Now, how to remember these five names? There's a mnemonic for it. N-L-M-E-B Whenever there is an infection, the WBCs get into action, saying, Now, let me eat you pucks. Easy to remember mnemonic, right? Now, a fact about WBC. Contrary to the name, they appear light purple to pink under the microscope. 
The last is the red blood cells or erythrocytes. Erythro meaning red and cytes meaning cells. They are disc shaped with depressed center and no nucleus, meaning they resemble a donut. The cytoplasm of RBCs contain hemoglobin, a protein that helps transport carbon dioxide and oxygen. RBCs are produced in bone marrow by a process called erythropoiesis. Our body creates RBCs at a rate of 2 million a second and they have a lifespan of about 120 days after which new cells replace them. Because RBCs can survive between 100 to 120 days, they can determine your health for the past 3 months. This is the basis for glycated Hb which is HbA1c test performed to check blood glucose level in diabetics. Hematocrit is the percentage of RBC in whole blood. It is about 44% in males and 40% in females. An increase in hematocrit leads to polycythemia or erythrocytosis. Decreased count leads to anemia. How does the RBC function? In lung capillaries, hemoglobin binds to inhaled oxygen, forming oxyhemoglobin. This gives the arterial blood a bright red color. Oxygen-rich RBCs travel through the arteries to tissue capillaries. Here, oxygen is released from hemoglobin and diffuses into the tissues. Simultaneously, carbon dioxide from tissues binds to hemoglobin, forming deoxyhemoglobin. This gives the venous blood a purple-blue color. Now, carbon dioxide-rich RBCs travel via venous blood to the heart and then to the lungs. Within the lung capillaries, carbon dioxide is released from hemoglobin in exchange for new oxygen. Now, functions of blood as a whole. They help in transport of oxygen to the body and carbon dioxide away from the body. They help in transport of hormones and nutrients. They help in transport of metabolic waste, help in clotting, and they also help in homeostasis. That is, they help regulate body temperature. They dilate to release excess heat and constrict to conserve heat. This process is called homeostasis. The pH of blood is 7.35 to 7.45 in healthy body. What is pH? It's the potential hydrogen or concentration of hydrogen in a solution. So on a scale of 0 to 14, 7 is neutral, anything below 7 is acidic, and above 7 is basic or alkaline. Weight is 8% of body weight. Volume is 5 to 6 liters in male and 4 to 5 liters in females. Temperature is around 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. So this is all about components of blood. Hope this video was helpful. Any feedback or comments, please leave it in the comment section. Stay connected with AAT Learning Hub. Thank you and happy learning.